Snaps are software packages initially developed by Canonical for Ubuntu. Now they are available for all major Linux distributions and exhibit some benefits over typical package managers like apt, rpm, and pacman. In this article, we will explain how to install SnapD on Linux OS. We will be covering the use of Snap to manage and run Snap packages via the GUI and command line. Let's get started by looking at some of the benefits of using Snap packages. Please support Putorius by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The benefits on the screen make Snap an easy and secure solution for quickly adding packages to your system. Security, ease of management, and bundled dependencies are some of the benefits you will enjoy while using Snaps. Let's move on and see how to get started using Snaps on your system. Snap D can be easily installed from the command line with your package manager. It is available from apt, yum, and dnf. We will be installing on Fedora using dnf, which requires a couple of extra symlinks to make everything work. Let's start the installation by issuing the sudo dnf install snap d command. You can verify the installation by passing the version option to the snap command. If installed correctly it will print the version information. Now we will create two symbolic links. These links will enable classic mode and also allow your installed snaps to be found in the GNOME application menu. These are only required for Fedora installations. At this point it is important to log out and then log back into the system to update Snaps paths. In order to manage Snaps via the GUI, you will need to install the Snap Store. The Snap Store is an application that can be used to search and install new Snaps or remove existing ones. To install Snap Store, open the command line terminal and issue the sudo snap install snap-store command. Once installed, you can launch the Snap Store by issuing the Snap Store command. Additionally, you can open the Snap Store from the GNOME Applications menu. Simply hit the Super key and search for Snap Store, or find it in the list of installed applications. Installing Snaps via the GUI is very straightforward. Simply open the Snap Store and search for an application using the search button at the top left corner of the window. Alternatively you can browse the categories to explore the available packages. Once you find a Snap, simply click the Install button on the top left to install it. To view and remove installed snaps, click the Installed tab at the top of the Snap Store window. You will be presented with a list of installed packages. Each one will have a convenient Remove button next to it which can be used to uninstall a snap. You can launch an installed snap just like you would any other program. Open the GNOME Applications menu by hitting the Super key. Then either search by typing the name or find it in the applications list. With Snap, you can quickly search for available packages using keywords. It can be helpful when you are uncertain of the exact name or spelling of the Snap package. Simply use the Snap Find command followed by the desired keyword. This will return a list of packages that matched the keyword. Once you find the exact name for your snap package, it can be installed with the install option. Each package contains important metadata like publisher, ID, channels, etc. To get a detailed information listing for a snap package use the info option.
Once installed, a snap package can be launched by invoking its name on the command line. Tab completion is available to help. Here we are launching the solitaire game that we installed via snap. You can update all of the installed snaps by using the snap refresh list command. As you can see, none of our snaps have available updates. To update an individual snap package, replace the list option with the name of the package. It may be necessary to downgrade a package to its previous version because of bugs or instability issues. You can use the revert option to roll back to a previous version like so. You may want to disable a snap temporarily when not in use. It can be done using the disable and enable options followed by the package name. Some snap packages have services linked to them. Use the services option to view the snap services and their status. You can start a service using the start option followed by the name of the snap package. Conversely, you can stop services by using the stop option followed by the name of the snap package. There is also an option to restart the services using the restart option. This is very similar to the old system v service command. To uninstall a snap package you can use the remove option followed by the name of the package to be uninstalled. In this example we are removing the Plex Media Server package. We touched on a lot of information in this quick tutorial. It may be helpful to view the text version located at the link provided in the description. If you found this tutorial helpful please support Putorius by liking the video, subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to be notified of future videos.